the Long Riders evokes these outlaws or heroes as if they were protagonists in a dream. Real, but also larger than life. They are lines in a poem, expressive of the good and the bad in all of us. Or at least that's how we feel as we watch them rob a bank, shoot up a town, dance at a wedding, mourn a funeral, or relax in the sun. A passion project of the Keach brothers, James and Stacy, the film was famous when it came out for its gimmick, casting Keach, Carradine, Guest, and Quaid siblings as blood relative outlaws who rode with Jesse and Frank James. The Long Riders was a box office disappointment upon its initial release. According to film comment, it made $5.8 million in the USA, in part due to a terrible campaign that emphasized how alike all the players looked without exploiting the family theme that might have aided the box office. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 81%, with a weighted average rating of 6.6 .6 out of 10. Here at the Rewind Zone, we score The Long Riders a 7.1 out of 10. Let us know in the comments what you would score this 1980s classic. The Long Riders is about two things, how impressive the robberies can look, and how well acted the characters are. Now it has to be said that the action side of the movie is good, especially as this is a movie which features stuntmen jumping on trains, flying through windows on horseback, and so on, rather than CGI. It does make it exciting to watch, and at the same time director Walter Hill makes the most of gunfights with some in-your-face shooting. For a movie which is over 40 years old, The Long Riders does deliver a very good visual experience. And then there is the acting, and whilst it is a novel idea of having acting brothers playing the various brothers in the movie, it also does make for some good performances. And in each of these groups of brothers, there is a standout performance. And so when it comes to the Keeches, it's Stacy Keech who seems to get under the skin of being Frank James, and makes him not so much a thinker, but a man who questions what they do. When the Carradines, it is David Carradine who steals many of the scenes in the shallow, and to be honest, bordering on a nasty, Cole Younger, especially when it comes to the way he disrespects his woman, Belle Star. With the Quades, it's Dennis who outshines Randy, which is ironic seeing that Dennis ends up in the movie less, and Christopher Guest as Charlie Ford wins out over his brother Nicholas. For those of us who remember this classic, it's still the yardstick against which most True Grit remakes must measure up to. This combination of cast, story, and spare film storytelling style makes it very hard to top, an essential example of all a Western can and should be. Thank you so much for watching, please hit the like button to show your support, and as always, I'll see you on the other side.